What's good, y'all? Ellis here. You can't cheat on me if I never claimed you. First things first, you can't claim ownership of anybody unless you're the government. We don't own anybody. We're just experiencing them. I'm proud to say I've never been cheated on. People have stepped out, but I've never been cheated on. They did not get claimed. But to be clear, I'm talking about clients. A client couldn't even cheat on me if they wanted to. I got no ownership of them. I don't have any claim to that scalp or the hair that grows out of that shit. I take it as a compliment anytime someone chooses me as a barber, but there are millions of barbers in the world. They're gonna find somebody to cut their hair and somebody else is gonna be more convenient than I am at some point. But I don't even think cheating on your barber is really a thing. For most people, they just look at a haircut as a service. I mean, it's nice to have a relationship with the person that does your service, but you need the service. You don't necessarily need them. And I appreciate everyone that comes to get cut by me. And if I'm not able to cut their hair, whether it doesn't work just schedule wise or geographically, they're on a trip, I'm gonna send them a recommendation. I can't have my people out here looking sad just because I don't cut their hair. They were gonna find a haircut somewhere else. And if they were gonna temporarily go to somebody else, I'd rather it be a good haircut so they don't have to come back to me with some bullshit that I gotta fix. Like my city, Greensboro, North Carolina. It's a college town. There's a month, there's like a few colleges here, but the city is small. Everybody knows each other. All the barbers in Greensboro share clients. If me and another barber share a client, I don't look at them like competition. I look at us like partners. Like you got them this week, I got them that week. As long as both of our time is being respected and they're paying our price, what is the problem? I'm not really pressed about cutting any individual's hair specifically. I think it's just dope whenever somebody decides to pick me because there's millions of barbers in the world and they decided to pick me. And I don't think my haircuts are that special. I think my haircuts are pretty good, but I don't think they're that special to put above other people's. I just know there's qualities about my cuts or my professionalism or my process that my clients value above other options that they have. That's completely on the client and what they want. That has very little to do with me. I personally would never try to like guilt trip a client for being a chair hopper because I don't want to, I don't want people to feel obligated to come to me. I want people to come to me just because they value my time and it worked for them. This is the best option for them at that moment. Appreciate the consideration. It's that, it's that simple. It's not that deep. I'm already doing what I wanted to do and getting paid for it. I'm not that pressed about things past that. But even if I was a person who thought clients could cheat on me, dog, let them cheat in peace. People were going to do what they wanted to do regardless, whether you were there or not. If you were there, they were going to try to do it behind your back if they really wanted to do it. Why be upset about someone's real intentions? Over my six years of cutting, I've had too many clients that when I'm cutting their hair, oh, that's my dog, you know, that's... My barber, Elvis, that's my guy. I ride for you, bro. If someone got a problem with you, tell me I'ma pull up on him. I think that's OD. I appreciate it. Once I'm inconvenient and I can't get him in the chair, I'm basically fired. Now I'm being dragged on social media to them and all their friends. He Hollywood, he's this and that. Nigga, okay. If I'm Hollywood, so be it. Hollywood get paid. The favor that most clients are gonna give you is gonna be flimsy as fuck. But most of these people like you because they, they need something from you. They don't gotta love you if they need you. But if they need you, they're gonna try to make sure you think that they love you because it benefits them. Why not be on your P's and Q's on your best behavior for someone that you need for something? So I don't hold it against nobody when you know people be sucking up and whatnot, but I don't do that fake shit. As soon as I see the other side, I'm good on that, bro. I see how it is. The only thing I require from people is respect. If there's no respect, we don't do business. We don't interact, simple as that. And of course this topic extends to romantic interests, significant others and whatnot. You gotta let them cheat in peace too. Where there's a will, there's a way. If they want to cheat, they'll find a way to cheat. I know people that be dealing with like cheating in relationships. And I got a question for them. If knowing your partner was cheating would not make you leave, what's the purpose of trying to find out? It was not gonna change the situation in any way. Like once you find out, the only thing that's different is that you're just there upset now. You still in the relationship, just upset now. If it wasn't gonna change the situation, <laughs> let them cheat in peace. And if you a barber or you're someone that deals with a clientele that you maintain a relationship with, if they cheating, let them cheat in peace. Cause you being upset is not gonna change the situation. If given the opportunity, people will do what they wanna do. And I'm blessed when people are doing what they wanna do and they choose to patronize my business and whatnot. But if they choose to patronize someone else's business, that's just their decision. That got very, very little to do with me. And the same thing goes for significant others. If they want to do what they want, and I just happen to be that, shit, you know what I'm saying? It's cool over here. But if it happens to be somebody else, well, shit, cool for them over there. That got very little to do with me. I just want people that want the same things as me. And sometimes they want the same things as me for a season. Not everybody's here for the entirety of the journey of life. Some seasons are longer than others too. I appreciate the relationships I have. I just want to be around people that want the same things as me. 
And that's generally, you know, mutual best interest. I want what's best for them. They want what's best for me. And that's a relationship I love to maintain. But I understand that that might be a seasonal relationship. It might not be meant to be a lifelong thing. Sometimes the people are with us for a season to teach us a lesson or to facilitate that season of growth. I love all the people I interact with. And the my definition of loving somebody outside of like romantic love, and there's a bunch of different kinds of love, but my general definition for love is wanting the best for somebody. And I got love for everybody I interact with. That doesn't mean I have a problem with loving you from afar or not ever talking to you. I want what's best for you, but maybe not being exposed to me is what's best for you. Maybe going without the blessing that I am is what's best for you in your season. Above all, I gotta keep love for myself because I can't pour into anybody if my cup is empty. I gotta make sure I'm all right. And I have unapologetically love myself more than other people. Besides like the five people on this planet that are like my ride or dies, I love myself more than anybody else. And I have to prioritize love for myself because I'm the only person I gotta live with forever regardless. Everybody else comes and goes. Even if I live with somebody else, they come and go. I don't see them all the time, but I'm always with myself. I gotta look out for this guy, make, make sure he's good. All right, y'all, appreciate y'all for watching. If you got any value, please like, subscribe. If that sparked any interesting ideas, go drop them in the comments. Let me know about that. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, at Cuts by Elvis. But till next time, Craft Over Clout, I'm out.